deal now. All right, what's up, y'all? I found a deal. Something that I was intrigued when I first seen it. Y'all know I'm always showing y'all stuff. Not the mainstream stuff that everybody runs, but different stuff that I feel can give you a good level of performance and output in the proper enclosure. With that being said, I came across this on Amazon, which is one of my favorite places to buy subwoofers for the fact that if anything's wrong with it, you buy on Amazon, you send it back, no questions asked. Put it in the box, put a return level on it, send it back, and they're going to refund your money. That's why I like Amazon. Uh, with that being said, I was scrolling through one day looking and say, what's my next 8 inch that I'm going to put up on the channel? And my next 12 inch, which I have cop that as well. And I came across this because of how it looked. And I said, that's the popular design that everybody's gravitating to right now. I'm going to get it. It's $115 for one. Look today, find out it's $114. And you can get two of these high phonics Brutus 8s for $219 shipped. Two. That's $108 a piece. And the technology and the performance is there. Like a lot of other subwoofers that have this. Made in China. Some of your favorite brands are made in China. Not at a build house of their own, but a build house that all of them use. You can let somebody tell you different if you want to. But let's open this up. See what we got. Unboxing. And when you see this design, some of you are going to run there quickly. You get a manual. It tells you how to wire the voice coil. Who actually is a sheet of paper? Tell you how to wire the voice coil in serial and parallel. On this side, it actually gives you the oh, they they got a a, a six inch too subwoofer. Uh, the six this eight inch is six hundred RMS, twelve hundred max. Everything's the same. Seven three eight inch cutout. Uh, nice average mounting depth. X Max is seventeen millimeters. Now, this is a Masonic's brand. Now, back in the day, Hephonics was very, very good. I would say in the 90s when I came up. From that time to now, not so much. They were bought out by Masonics, which bought out a lot of brands that didn't survive when the big four were battling it. J Audio, Robert Files Gate, Orion, and Kicker. They didn't make it. They were one of the ones that kind of lost out. When well, Masonics came in and bought all these brands and put them on one umbrella, that doesn't mean necessarily the quality went down, but for a period of time it did. Now it seems as though, thanks to Din Tally and Jinxing Electronics, that they're using the very popular uh, 8 inch in particular to revitalize the brand. Because this 8 inch, I'm going to tell you something, is a carbon copy of a lot of 8 inches out there, which tells you what. It's going to perform just like the rest of them. But Masonics is not trying to kill you on the price. And that's just a fact. Y'all know what I do on my channel. Fact, not fiction. Okay. Moving mass is twenty is 148. Which leads me to believe it's really geared toward SPL. Might have moderate sound quality. FS is 40. Hmm. Hmm. QTS 0.43, we lean more toward ported than the infinite baffle. Uh, vascularity 6.1, that's the surrounding stiffness. But this is what I really like as well. The sensitivity level, 82. That's pretty high for a wolf that holds 600 watts on a mess. Let's look at it so y'all can see why I'm intrigued about it, especially for that price point. They spend a little money on packaging. A lot of 8-inch subwoofers use this. Some of the mainstream brands that y'all love so much. Now, y'all see the wife push this thing right here? So I won't scratch up her table. There yeah, you go right there. So, boom. Now, here we go. Up out. Oh, I know y'all looking like, oh, yeah, that looks nice. It also looks like a lot of other subwoofers. Yeah, it's coming probably coming from the same company. 
Don't let nobody else tell you different. Remember, I tell you all the time. It's not in the subwoofer. It's in the box and the electrical. All systems start up front with the electrical. I can make anything sound good. On my channel, I don't have no brand loyalty. Yeah, I do love my kickers more than anything because trigger the kick is not really eight inch. But hey, I can make any subwoofer sound good. And they're not going to beat every subwoofer in every situation. Okay? Let's, uh, let's take the plastic off. You see what we got here as far as, as far as the performance features that I said I like. Starting at the top. Nice little rubber back gasket. It's down in Bross with the name, so they save you some money there. Rib surround that everyone's using now that Kicker using as well. You know Kicker started with their sand preen sound on their CBRs. Then do the designs using they call the I think they on the SPL models because these ribs work. Plain and simple. These ribs work in stopping your surround from dimpling. Because when the surround dimples, you have distortion. Fact. Uh, double stitch the surround. This double stitch to the cone. The cone. The cone is a non-pressed paper cone with Kevlar finish. Nice plastic, broad dust cap. Has a 73 inch cutout, so it's just like every other 73 inch cutout as far as the SD. The SD is, do they have that listed? Yes. 204 centimeters, which is your customarily 31 to 32 square inches of, of cone area. We've seen this basket a thousand times. It works, plain and simple. This basket enables for a very light, large spider, which helps keeping that FS relatively low. The FS on this side is 40 hertz. It has dual space linear spiders. They're not progressive roll, meaning they don't increase on either rib. They're just linear. Nice thick tensile leads. Uh, the tensile leads are at least at least an eighth of an inch thick. Compression gauge speaker terminals that I see will accept 10 gauge wire. You could probably cram eight gauge in there, but 10 gauge for sure. Nice top plate. Top plate looks to be mm, about a quarter of an inch. Let's see. At least in that line, they're not hiding from you there. This joker is made in China. Let's take this off. Let's look at this magnet before we go to the back to the bottom. Once again, you can get two of these for $219. Ship. Nice dual slug one inch magnets. Nice uh, bottom plate, which is vented around, which is vented around the pole piece and also vented in the back. Uh, this is a dual four. Dual voice core. I see some other features that they say. Uh, well, I've been looking at it myself. The windings protrude at least three eighths of an inch above the gap. Is it a BSAV form? Do they tell you that? No, they don't tell you. They don't tell you. But I'm sure some of you looking at this design, they're really into cardio, especially y'all that visit Facebook a lot. You know, Facebook is not really my thing. I, I think most of the people on there just be talking on their own sound system. And plus, they, most of them got the herd mentality. One dude said everybody followed it. It bothered me. You know, I, I think and know for a fact it's in the box of electrical. This don't mean nothing. Is it loud right now? It soon will be when you put it in one of my boxes. Now, so this design is very popular. So popular that make Sonics and say we're gonna cop, we're gonna get in on the on the on the, on the lick as well. <laughs> and they selling this for one fourteen on Amazon. Nice, got a nice little heft to it. Uh, yeah. Don't be no fool when you see this. They say, well, man, now nah, it's something different between this and that brand. How? What they changed? The basket, the size of the slugs, and the top plate. Progressive linear roll spiders, and this is nothing. You can change this cap wiki whatever you want it to be. Yeah. Don't be a sheep, be a lion. 
So, will it perform? I'm pretty sure it will. They even tell you on the manual, you, you see you see how my muscles flex when I lifting this up? It's got a little weight to it. Yes, it does have a little, it has a nice little weight to it. They didn't spend a lot of money on the, they got the high final around the magnetic boot, which I tell you, you're putting this inside the enclosure. Take this off. Because all this is going to do is, this rubber is not uh, known for its heat dissipation, dis dispilation, well, how you say that? This rubber is not known for its ability to, to withdraw heat from a substance. It's probably known for its ability to keep heat on a substance. So, if you put it on the outside of the box, yeah, you might want to take it off, keep it on so you can see the name and boss. But if you got an inside enclosure, uh, heat's the enemy. I'm going to never forget that. You want to try to keep your stuff up for as cool as possible. Keep that voice cool as cool as possible. So you put the boot back on. It's a very handsome, solidly crafted subwoofer. Particularly, because there's going to be a lot of comments, y'all say, oh man, that's a Masonic brand. Yeah, it looked like a lot of rest of them too that came out in Italian and gen ginseng electric, electronics. Yeah. You know, my, my station, my channel, is popular with those who can think. It's not popular with those who have the sheet mentality. Because they so they're gonna tell you something different. Uh no, nah, it ain't nothing different. I can look at this and tell you exactly where it came from, besides where it came from in China. And I also can tell you it's gonna perform admirably. And you're not gonna make a killing. You're not gonna lose a lot of money. So this is the unboxing. Let's see what it says that it needs in a ported or vending enclosure. For a vending enclosure, so it's not is yeah, it's definitely not geared for seal no i wouldn't run this seal for a vending enclosure sound quality very musical sq box they want you to put it in 0.7 okay remember you can add up to 25 percent more so we could put it in one cube pretty much had the same effect uh vending enclosure spl they want you to put it in 0.88 the difference difference between 0.7 and 0.8 in meniscal at best. <coughs> Seriously. You really can hear a difference in the enclosure when you go, say, from one cube to 1.25. Definitely from one cube to 1.5. So, that difference tells me that they made this to make you think it's different from the rest of them. I'm still going to give my stamp for approval now just because I can look at the performance features and the technology and say, hey, this, yeah, this is a winner. The dual space spiders, linear space, gonna be very accurate with linear space spider. Uh, not as picky as the SPL subwoofer, uh, one gear with SPL with a, uh, a progressive roll. Very, gonna sound very, very good. It has a low FS. They do want you to tune this thing relatively high, which we're not going to do at all. Uh, for SPL, they want you to tune it to 44, which is you know in the 40s where people pretty much meet the highest. For the musical, Musical boss, they say tune to 39. Well, you know me, we're gonna tune it. My favorite number is 33. Yeah, 33 hertz, that's what we're gonna tune it. And it's gonna perform with the instructions I have for it. So this is it. How phonics. Scrolling through, as soon as I seen it, and I looked at it, I said, let me get this to see if it matches the picture. And it does. It does match the picture very, very well. So much so, that those of you who are funds constrained might want to look into oh it's upside down might want to look into copying two of these before I give them even more exposure and everybody be copying the price be going up AK Toro Tech Force 8 119 now it's 139 this sugar here is 114 you might want to jump on as quickly as possible as quickly as possible because the price is going to go up particularly after being on my channel yeah particularly after I put them in the box y'all see how I perform we're going to do the free air texting next so y'all can see oh yeah this is a winner oh uh, yeah hey miss 18 miss fat booty no don't get on the camera don't do that no 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 no
You better not. You do that. I'm a divorce. You coming in. You better don't do that. I'm telling you, kiss like that. You ain't gonna take that. He got over. Okay. All the time he been talking about this. Yeah, she come out. Yeah, she come out there for real. I ain't no eighteen. What's up with that eye? Who she looking at? Yeah, who she looking at? Me? She looking at the camera or behind the camera? Anyway. Let you see Peace. Let you see my fingers. I got small fingers. Yeah, small hands, small wrists, small ankles. Hey, yeah, that's why you ain't on camera. Hey, hit the button right there, please.